subject is the person or thing that performs the action in the sentence or clause. And a subject pronoun is a pronoun that takes the place of a noun as the subject of a sentence. For example, in the sentence we have, she told me about her worries. Now the word she is a pronoun and it is the subject of the sentence. And so the word she is a subject pronoun. Note that subject pronouns replace nouns that are the subject of their clause. Have a look at the table below. When we talk about the first person in its singular form, we use I. In plural, we. When we talk about the second person, we use you. In its plural, the same, you. When we talk about the third person, we use he, she, it. Plural, they. Also, we should replace the subject with a subject pronoun to avoid repetition. For example, Mary is a student and Mary is very hardworking. The repetition of the proper noun Mary should be avoided. We should say something like Mary is a student and she is very hardworking. She refers to Mary. Also note that we use the subject pronoun it when we refer to objects, things, animals, or ideas. For example, love is eternal. It will last forever. The pronoun it refers to the word love. And sometimes, when we don't know the sex of a baby, we can use it. For example, their baby is so small, it only weighs 2 kilos. We also use it when we talk about time, weather, or temperature. For example, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock. It's quite cold today. Now let's review and practice a bit. Remember that subject pronouns replace nouns that are the subject of their clause. So what do you think would be the proper subject pronoun to use to replace the word Helen? She and dog it Students, they, my brother and I, we. Also note that we should replace the subject with a subject pronoun to avoid repetition. Have a look at the sentence below. Fred and Molly are very good friends. Fred and Molly have known each other since middle school. Try to avoid this repetition by using a subject pronoun. They have known each other since middle school. Let's have a look at another sentence over here. Look at the cat. The cat is so cute. Note that the subject pronoun it 
is used when we refer to objects, things, animals, or ideas. Try to avoid repetition in this sentence by using the correct subject pronoun. It is so cute. Now, sometimes when we don't know the sex of a baby, we can, of course, use it. Fill in the blanks using the proper subject pronoun in this sentence. The baby didn't sleep well. Kicking all night. It was kicking all night. Remember that we can also use it when we talk about time, weather, or temperature. Have a look at the following sentence and fill in the blanks using the proper subject pronoun. Minus 10 degrees Celsius outside. You should definitely wear a hat. It's 10 degrees Celsius. Now, here is a short story using subject pronouns. Listen as I read so you can see how they are used in real life conversation. After I'm done, make sure you understand all the grammar and read aloud yourself so that you can work on your own fluency and pronunciation. Shall we go out tonight? The weather is lovely. Yes, it is. Maybe we could go for a walk. I don't feel like eating. It's strange. Are you feeling well? I'm all right, thank you. I was at my grandma's today and she cooked a lot of stuff for lunch. I felt like I was about to explode. I know the feeling. All grandmas are like that. They show their love by feeding their grandkids. Now, it's time for you to practice on your own. Read the following sentences and replace the subject with the appropriate pronoun. A. Kylie is looking for a job at the moment. B. My kids absolutely love reading books. C. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius today. D. My friends and I like to go on trips together. E. Mrs. Smith is my neighbor. Now, read the following sentences and correct the mistakes you find. A. The dog stole Amanda's hot dog before he ran away. B. My brother likes working out in the morning. He gives him energy for the rest of the day. C. There are raindrops on my window. Are they raining again? D. Her husband is really sweet because her husband brings her breakfast in bed. E. You can have ice cream after they have your broccoli. Time to check your answers. He is looking for a job at the moment. They absolutely love reading books. 
It is 25 degrees Celsius today. We like to go on trips together. She is my neighbor. The dog stole Amanda's hot dog before it ran away. My brother likes working out in the morning. It gives him energy for the rest of the day. There are raindrops on my window. Is it raining again? Her husband is really sweet. He brings her breakfast in bed. You can have ice cream after you eat your broccoli. Thank you for watching this tutorial.